No one in this bloody country actually cares about fixing this bloody country because now the CEO of Transnet, you know, the railways, is concerned that if she fixes the railways, the trucking industry is going under. One of the problems that we have when it comes through to the roads in South Africa is that they're over congested. There's many parts around KZM where the roads are inadequate for the transportation systems. So we know that transportation around the country is a problem. The best way to solve this problem would be to get back on the railway tracks. The problem is the railway tracks are screwed. And those job losses aren't even real. This is just the CEO saying what she thinks. I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves. Did someone who invented electricity think about the poor candle makers? right? Or someone who invented the internet think about the poor book printers. No, like progress has to happen. Though in South Africa, progress means just having trains that actually run properly. Like I know that seems to be progress here, but it's something that our ancestors solved 300 years ago (laughs) in Western Europe. But fundamentally, if you are charged with fixing the railways and by doing so, you're worried about the destruction of the private transport industry, you have no business trying to fix the railways. You are not a serious person. No, but the thing the thing is, Ramon, and the thing that really kind of gets me on this topic is that lots of people sit around all the time and use whataboutism, right? So it's like, we have to have NHR because, you know, what about all the poor innocent people that can't afford, you know, healthcare? But when it comes through to this, we're like, no, 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 we can't do that. We can't fix the railways because, you know, job losses lives and saving lives appear to be bottom of the pile here and that that seems really odd but just think what else the railway is used for mate it's not just there to transport coal and goods i mean what about human capital transporting actual people oh wait i've got it we need to worry about the job losses it causes in taxis right well apparently the losses of jobs in the taxi industry wasn't you know up for debate according to the transnet ceo but it's but baron seriously i mean if you have a company you are there to make sure that company functions adequately, especially a state-owned enterprise like Transnet. If you have railway lines at work, imagine how many people can travel to work and back efficiently. Imagine how much more exports we can have. Imagine how much more efficient the manufacturing hub of South Africa would be. Remember, when we went to Burford West to see Gates and McKenzie, we saw those railway lines. I mean, imagine those railway lines coming back to life. The amount of economic progress coming to the central crew once again. There is no hope in hell that improving the railway lines has a negative effect for anyone. And to be concerned about the negative effects of a proper functioning railway system is just daft. These people aren't serious people. We need patriots in these positions, not morons like this. Transnet is responsible for basically the ports, right? I mean, they're not active pricer, which is responsible for the railways. It was one entity passing comments on another entity. Theoretically, Transnet would be able to maximize delivery of cargo to and from ports with the railway system, not cargo. We've all seen the TikTok and Twitter videos of the trucks going hundreds of kilometers or waiting to get into a port. A lot of that gets solved if you get a good railway system. We never used to have these problems before because we had a railway system. It's really kind of a modern problem that we have because we rely solely now on trucks. Fundamentally, trucks are not carbon neutral, but trains are, because trains technically run on the electric system. So technically, if you really want to push the green agenda, it's far better environmentally to push things onto the railway system than it is to trucks. Well, I mean, if it was up to me, I would force the trains to run on steam. It'd be good to have the sound, and the steam rising over the horizons of South Africa every morning, carrying people and cargo wherever they need to go. Personally, electric trains, complete waste of time. And guess what, Byron? We can't have electric trains because we have reached net zero thanks to, well, ESCOM not functioning (laughs) at all. But foundationally, the moral of the story is we need people who are nationalists, who are patriots, who want to fix this place. If you can't do it, then foot sack. The railway line is far more important than any considerations for the private sector. The private sector exists because you screwed up the railway lines. So just fix the railway lines, focus on your job, get that right, and the private sector will sort itself out in time to come. But for now, the Transnet CEO, complete waste of time, she needs to go.